Hey all, I'm back and I have glazed a second layer of paint over each of these swatches and as predicted, the paint swatches beautifully. This is something that Sennelier is known for because of the honey. It's a good transparent glazing paint with very nice vibrant colors that you can build up. Pretty cool. So what I've done is I um, put up a Twitter poll asking people what I should paint to test out this uh, half pan set and the toss up was between a plant or an animal, people picked animal and I thought what animal uses every color of the rainbow because I really want to test every single color on the palette and I have an online friend called Kat Cardi who's also an artist, you should check her out. She has an OC called Aphalon, he's basically a rainbow lion and it's a really cool character so I thought I would draw him and paint him. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. One last thing I forgot to mention is that I made this tiny little baby swatch card that is the size of the palette that will live inside the lid of the palette that will tell me the color names and show me what they look like swatched because I tend to forget and as you can see a lot of these look black in the half pan so you can't really tell what color it's going to be. I really wish other brands would uh, print the name of the color on the half pan body itself like Sennelier does. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it prints the color code and stuff and some brands don't do that. And I find having the thing printed on the half pan is very useful information. With the Schmenke ones, I just end up writing it on myself in permanent marker and it's actually kind of too big to really, the marker tip I mean is too big to fit the whole color name in, so sometimes I have to guess what I've written.
Okay, so unfortunately I thought I was recording the painting process for this picture, but um, it turns out that I never put the camera back on to record after I took a break after doing the inks. So I did stream it, so I do have my Twitch VOD that I can use, but the quality of the footage is not great. So it's probably really off-center because I was favoring this camera and not the Logitech, which is here. But at least you'll see the process, right? So this is the completed painting. I have to say the Seigneur performed quite well. I really like the vibrancy of the colors. I like how it glazes. I enjoyed pretty much everything about working with this paint. I really like it. I'm very happy with my purchase. I added some white highlights with gouache because white watercolor is not opaque enough for anything like that. Um, and I did do some touch-ups on the whiskers and stuff. And I added a nice golden background which is a uh, fine tech Inca gold. Um, they've recently renamed some of their colors, so I'm not sure if it's still called Inca gold, but that's the color that I used. Fine tech is lovely. It's a mica uh, based shimmery kind of paint, which you can also use as an ink, but I tend to use it as a paint more often than not. So I decided since this character is so nice and bright, I could add this lovely golden background just plain, no texture, just a nice even shine, and I think it looks really good. So yeah, thank you for joining me on this little mini Sinelia journey. I'm very happy with my purchase, and if I have spare cash, I will probably invest in some more half pans or even some tubes if I can get my hands on them. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's a good paint. I'm happy. And I'm happy with how this little piece turned out. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.